After the sea and the land, the last frontier for vertebrates was the air, which provides an abundance of insects for food and a haven from predators. Flight also allows for aerial reconnaissance of larger prey and for migration over large distances as seasons and food sources change. From the darting hovering of hummingbirds and the prehistoric parachuting of sandhill cranes to the graceful soaring of hawks and the dive bombing antics of brown pelicans, 8,600 species of birds attest to the success of class aves. One of the first bird-like animals, Archaeopteryx, a reptile modified for flight, appeared roughly 150 million years ago. In modern birds, as in Archaeopteryx, reptilian body scales are dramatically modified into feathers, but unmodified scales on the legs of both are testament to a reptilian origin. Feathers protect and insulate the body, while also forming lightweight extensions to the wings and tails that provide the lift and control required for flight. Interestingly, feathers may have at first functioned as insulation as birds evolved into warm-blooded animals and only later been co-opted for flight. Other biologists theorize that feathers may first have evolved in the reptilian ancestors of birds as visual curiosities used to attract mates. There is certain credibility to the theory, as even today, males and numerous bird species have feathers with no apparent function other than to impress females. A number of other changes were also necessary for efficient flight. For example, a honeycomb design in the largely hollow bones of birds reduces the weight of their skeletons to a fraction of that of other vertebrates of equivalent size. Birds have a high rate of cellular respiration due to the rigors of flight and as a result of maintaining a constant body temperature. Thus, birds require much more oxygen than reptiles of equal size. To meet their high demand for oxygen, birds have a four-chambered heart that completely separates oxygenated blood from deoxygenated blood and air sacs that supply oxygenated air to the lungs even as the bird exhales. The eggs that contributed to the reptile's success on land also frees female birds from the demands of carrying developing offspring. However, birds remain tied down by their offspring as, unlike reptilian offspring, bird offspring usually need substantial parental nurturing before being able to take flight and survive on their own. Those areas of the brain that control sight and motor function are particularly well developed in birds, as flight requires both acute vision and excellent coordination. The brains of birds, proportionally larger than those of reptiles and amphibians, enables most species to engage in complex behaviors, such as nest building, the raising of offspring, navigating long distances during seasonal migrations, carrying out elaborate courtship rituals during breeding, and communication through calls and songs. One of the most distinctive adaptations of birds are their beaks and bills. Flamingos use their long, hooked, slitted bills as leaky ladles through which they sift food from mud and water along shallow shorelines. Pelicans have bills they use as dip nets to scoop up fish, while herons often stab at fish and other prey with long, sharp bills. Raptors, such as hawks and eagles, are characterized by bills that hook and taper into a sharp point used to rip the flesh of prey, while the heavy deep beaks of parrots developed in order to facilitate the cracking of nuts. The extremely long, narrow bills of hummingbirds, along with their hovering flight, enable them to easily forage nectar from flowers. While adaptations in beaks and other structures, such as wings, have enabled birds to fill a variety of niches, Comparable adaptations have allowed mammals to successfully exploit niches on the land, the sea, and the air.